Old Alabama Gardener here on uh, three of my favorite garden tools and a fertilizer storage tip. Here I'm showing my furrowing tool on unbroken ground. Now I'm going to show you in a in a bed where I'm actually going to plant onions where I'm making the furrow. I use the furrowing hoe then to uh, mix the fertilizer in with the soil. And then once the onions are planted, I use the furrowing hoe to uh, push the dirt back over and fill the furrow back in. This tool is a short handle Japanese hoe and it's really convenient for working in small areas. This next tool is a hand, Japanese hand sai, and uh, it's really convenient for working uh, in and around your beds and uh, where you wouldn't be able to get a normal mower. When you open a bag of fertilizer, if you leave it open, it will draw moisture and will become no good. So what you do then is you immediately take the fertilizer out of the big bag and store it in small, uh, right here I'm using one quart Ziploc bags. That way the fertilizer will stay good for at least a year. You can mark the small bags with what type of fertilizer it is or just put them back in the big bag and that way you'll know what it is. <music> 